Hey, what's up guys, Winston here. And today we're gonna to be taking a quick look at the MSI GeForce RTX 5070 Gaming Trio OC. This graphics card uses Nvidia's latest GeForce RTX 5070 GPU featuring the Blackwell architecture and comes with 6144 CUDA cores, 5th gen Tensor cores and 4th gen RT cores as well as supporting the latest DLSS4 and PCI5 interface. What makes the MSI card slightly different is that it uses an overclocked GPU running at 2610 MHz. The default is 2510 MHz and that gives it a slight advantage over other GeForce RTX 5070s. And if you use MSI Center and the Afterburner software, you can get extreme performance of up to 2625 MHz. The card also comes with 12 GB of GDDR7 RAM on a 192 bit memory bus running at a speed of 28 gigabits per second. For cooling, it comes with MSI's Trifrosa 4 thermal design, which includes the Stormforce cooling fans, the core heat pipes, and a solid metal backplate. Video outputs include three DisplayPort 2.1b and one HDMI 2.1b, giving you a maximum resolution of 4K at 480Hz or 8K at 120Hz. Price-wise, the original GeForce RTX 5070 from NVIDIA costs around about $549, but this one has the extra cooling from MSI. So you're looking at a retail price of around about $650. Unfortunately, as we speak, scalpers have actually pushed these prices well beyond $1,000. Anyway, scalpers aside, let's see how this card performs in our test rig, uh, which is comprised of an Intel Core i9 1400K, along with uh, 48 gigabytes of uh, DDR5 8000 RAM. All right, so let's not waste any time, put this into our test rig. But before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the MSI GeForce RTX 5070 Gaming Trio, and it's the OC edition. All right, let's take a look inside the box. Okay, first off, we have the graphics card holder. It's quite a nice little, uh, little device. All right, next we have the uh, cable converter, and that's the 2-8-pin PCI connector to the 16-pin uh, 12VHWPR connector there. So that's the graphics card itself. And the uh, quick start guide. Let's take this off. And here we have the uh, MSI GeForce RTX 5070, the Gaming Trio OC. This card uses NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 5070 GPU featuring Blackwell architecture and comes with 6144 CUDA cores, uh, 5th gen Tensor cores, 988 AI tops, and 4th gen RT cores with uh, 94 T flops. Supports the latest DLSS4 and uh, also PCI5 interface. The card uses an overclocked GPU running at uh, 2610 MHz and can also get extreme performance at 2625 MHz using the MSI Center and Afterburner software. It comes with uh, 12 GB of GDDR7 RAM on the 192 bit memory bus running at a speed of 28 GB per second. It's quite a slim card. Uh, takes up two and a half PCI slot space. And the top here we have the uh, MSI logo, GeForce RTX, and this here we have some RGB underneath this uh, cover right here. There's your 16 pin, the 12 VHWPR connector there. For cooling, the card comes with the MSI Trifrosa 4 thermal design. It has the Stormforce fans, cooling fans, for improved airflow. And as you can see here, we have some heat pipes and of course, a nice metal uh, back plate right here as well with the uh, MSI Dragon logo, nice. At the end here, we have the MSI logo, which actually lights up with some RGB. You also get RGB underneath this cover and also at the bottom right here. Let's have a look at the video outputs. We have uh, three DisplayPort 2.1b and one HDMI 2.1b as well. 
and this gives you uh, resolutions of up to 4K at 480 hertz or 8K at 120 hertz. All right, so this was a quick unboxing of the GeForce RTX 5070 Gaming Trio OC graphics card. The GeForce RTX 5070 is meant to target the mainstream market at a decent price point. So let's see how it performs in our tests. During our tests, we used the Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Pro X motherboard, along with an Intel Core i9-1400K processor, along with 48GB of DDR5-8000 RAM. We got decent scores in all of our benchmarks, including a score of 8,435 for Basemark Relic of Life, and a Geekbench GPU score of 188,623. For Unigine's value benchmark, we got a score of 8,138, and a Final Fantasy benchmark score of 20,788. Passmark 11 GPU score was at 33,921. Next, we have Superposition, 1080p Extreme, and optimized 4K benchmarks. We got decent scores of 12,335 and 17,344 respectively. For 3 d Mark Steel Nomad and Speedway, we got scores of 5,087 and 5,961 respectively. For Port Royal and Tamspy, it produced scores of 14,279 and 22,866 respectively. And lastly, we got direct X ray tracing score of 58.41 frames per second and a DLSS score of 124.21 frames per second. For Cyberpunk 2027 tests, we used the ray tracing overdrive option with RTX on and DLSS 4 enabled. The MSR GeForce RTX 5070 produced a score of 39.37 frames per second at 4K. As you all know, AMD have recently launched their Radeon RX 9000 series of graphics cards, with many saying it's an Nvidia killer in terms of price and performance. So where does a standard GeForce RTX 5070 stand? Well on a good day, it beats the RTX 4070 for sure. As for the MSI GeForce RTX 5070 Gaming Trio OC, thanks to its overclocked GPU, I would say it performs about the same as a GeForce RTX 4070 Ti based on our benchmarks. It's a tough choice to make, especially when the Radeon RX 9070 XT and the RX 9070 is priced at 599 and 549 respectively. All said and done, I think the MSI GeForce RTX 5070 Gaming Trio OC is definitely worth considering as a mainstream graphics card for gamers. It offers decent performance, great aesthetics, and can easily beat the GeForce RTX 4070 Ti thanks to its overclocked GPU. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the MSI GeForce RTX 5070 Gaming Trio OC graphics card. It's a decent graphics card for the mainstream market, and thanks to its overclocked GPU, it actually performs pretty well. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this by the links in the description and of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.